Hey there, welcome to day five of our No Nonsense November. Sharon horn Nelson here. And today we're talking about stones or gratitude stones. Gratitude stones, gratitude rocks. These are, I don't know, if you, rock stones. To me, it's interchangeable. I am definitely a crystal and stone and rock person. This is actually, we went for a walk and uh, down by the river probably a week ago with the kids and my granddaughter and found some stones. This was my little collection of stones. It's pretty heavy, but I'm definitely a rock gal. I love rocks. I love stones for this very reason that we're talking about today. Today, one of my favorite tools is the idea of the gratitude stone. And it's interesting because for me, I remember other really hearing about other people doing this uh, when I watched the movie, The Secret. And uh, it was shared that you should, you know, one of the, the successful people in the secret of all about the law of attraction talked about how he had a little pebble. He found a little pebble in the driveway or a little stone in the driveway and he put it in his pocket. And every time he felt it, it, he would, when he picked it up in the morning, he would think of three things he was grateful for. Then he would go about his day and every time he felt it in his pocket, he would think of something that he was grateful for. And then when he took it out of his pocket at night and put it back on the dresser, he would think of three things he was grateful for. Um, now, I had never, I always carried stones and, and gratitude stones. I didn't call them gratitude stones and rocks, but I always was one of those kids that had rocks in my pocket <laughs> because I love stones and I love rocks. And so I'd always be carrying them around and I realized um, how powerful they really are. And so I looked up today because I thought it was interesting. Actually, this is one of my gratitude rocks that I carry in my purse or my backpack. Um, but every day I, I actually do that. I, I hate when I don't have pockets because I can't actually carry one with me throughout the day. But otherwise, there's always a stone or a rock, a symbol, a sign, a physical reminder for me to be grateful for things. Well, why do we want to be grateful and, and how do we use that? We Like all the other tools, you can use your gratitude stone any way that works for you. Um, I like physically carrying it around because it is a reminder. Um, I was laughing last night. We were having a fire out by... Uh, because it was a beautiful evening and it was kind of like a little bit of Indian summer here in Wisconsin. And so I'm thinking we're not going to get that very often. So my daughter, my son-in-law and I and the dogs had a, a, a bonfire out front and we're sitting around the fire and I reach in my pocket and pull out a, a, a stone. I've always got some kind of a rocker stone in almost every coat that I own, every jacket. Uh, and then if I don't, I still grab one and carry it with me. Why? Because I want to make sure that I am living in the present moment, that I am focusing on the things that I'm grateful for. So today, I, it, and you know, it's just a cool physical reminder of that. I looked up and there are actually um, eight ways to practice gratitude. And then I also looked up the seven scientific proven benefits of gratitude because I don't want people thinking I'm just making this stuff up and, oh yeah, you should carry a rock around with you because it'll make you feel good. Well, it'll make you feel good, but it also has other benefits. Let me grab my magnifying glass so I can see what these are. Um, number one, these are scientifically proven and I'm just listing what they are, but if you want, you can Google it and you will see the scientific tests that they've done and the practices they've done to prove that gratitude has this impact on human beings and most of these studies uh, have been done before but they were all been repeated like in the 2000s like 2012 2014 2015 2016 so it's not like it's old science or it's also not just new science people have known since biblical times that being appreciative for what is and being grateful are is good for you now scientists have just started studying it so Here's the seven scientific benefits, proven benefits, proven by science of gratitude. Number one, it opens the doors to more relationships. If you are grateful and appreciative for what you have, it opens your life up to more. It improves physical health because people that are appreciative of things tend to take better care of themselves. They tend to exercise. They tend to get out in nature. That makes you feel better. They tend to eat better, drink more fluids and more water, and take better care of themselves. Uh, step th number three is improves your psychological health, reduces your depression, and increases happiness. They've done a ton of studies on that. Gratitude also, number four, enhances empathy and reduces aggression. Oh, that's interesting. So it enhances your empathy and your ability to understand and be kind to other human beings. Always a good thing. 
Number five, it gives you better sleep. Practicing gratitude actually improves your sleep. Number six, it improves your self-esteem. If you're appreciating things, including yourself, guess what? You treat other people better, but when you treat other people better, they treat you better. And so all around, it improves your self-esteem. When you feel happy and good, it makes you feel better about all different areas and aspects of your life. And finally, it increases your mental strength and your ability to make decisions and choices and handle everyday stuff that comes up, challenges that come your way. Uh, feelings of being thankful and appreciative is the definition of gratitude. To me, thankfulness, gratitude, appreciation, uh, it, they all mean the same thing. We all have so many ways of describing the, the feelings that we have and we experience, but whatever word, whatever term works for you. You might have a thankful a, a thankful rock. And actually now, since the movie The Secret came out, I and I don't get out much because of COVID and, and other reasons, um, now you can get engraved rocks that actually have a word on them. Love, prayer, gratitude, happy, um, peace, whatever. Um, and you can actually, there is a company that a business associate and friend of mine uh, interacts with that they actually, you can get things printed on rocks. You can literally buy rocks with things printed on them that you want. Maybe you want a million dollar rocks. You get rocks and you have million dollar or millionaire printed on it. You can do whatever you want with a rock. Um, I like to actually find them in nature. To me, I think it's fascinating and so fun to actually find my, my gratitude rocks and stones, but you can buy them. You can use a pente bead. You can use any little symbol or token of something to remind you to be grateful. It doesn't have to be a rock. I could carry a duck around with me. I could carry um, little Buddha. I've got a little Buddha, little statues or little figurines, whatever works for you. This could be my little gratitude Buddha. I can't see what it is. It's Buddha carrying something. Maybe, I have no idea. Buddha's carrying something. Maybe y'all can tell. No. Anyway, I could carry a little thing like this. I used to carry little figurines and tokens and things when I was younger around with me to remind me to just stay positive and happy and focused and present and grateful for what's going on in my life. Um, there's eight ways to practice gratitude. I might as well run through these quick. Um, number one, don't be picky. Appreciate everything. Number two, find gratitude in your challenges. I talk about that all the time. Number three, practice mindfulness. Be be present. Be Pay attention. Get up in your brain of what's going on around you right now, not um, living in the past or, or you know dreaming of the future all the time. Keep a gratitude journal. We talked about that earlier this week. Uh, volunteer. Volunteer to to do something. Do something with or for somebody else. Uh, spend time with loved ones, of course. Express yourself and improve your happiness in areas of your life. It, it, it improves happiness in every area of your life. That, these are things that gratitude does for you, benefits of gratitude. So uh, interesting. I, like I said, I've always collected stones, always loved rocks. I will my entire life love rocks. I'm totally attracted to rocks and stones. I think they're fascinating and beautiful and fun. And, and even the ugly ones, even ones that other people would think are like ugly, I find beauty in. And I think that's a form of gratitude, appreciating what is, appreciating what what and how things are. We got these because I want to I want to get the rock polisher out. My we have my grandfather's rock polisher. My son does, and his daughter wants to polish rocks. So we can be grateful that we have that, and we can enjoy our gratitude. Stuff. Love to know your experience with gratitude stones or gratitude rocks, whatever you call them. Do you have one? Have you ever tried the practice, and how did it impact you? Have an awesome day, and I'll be with you tomorrow with another fun life tool in our no nonsense November. Take care. Bye.